And this is Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Services in the heart of New York City. I have a chance to talk with our friend Ryan M. Craver, who is the president and CEO of TrimFit, right in the middle of uh, really the last uh, few shopping days. Uh, Ryan, always good to see you. What's your overall impression of uh, the holiday shopping season so far? Fantastic to see you as well. Um, I think overall the shopping season's been rough for a lot of the retailers that we know that are very close to here. Um, we saw Black Friday do relatively well, uh, slightly up to last year. But what we did see with Black Friday is some of that product that was typically sold Black Friday in stores was sold on Thursday. It almost became Cyber Thursday, and there was about a five-day period of cyber sales from Thursday all the way through Monday to Cyber Monday. So we saw a very, very high amount of sales shift from brick and mortar into online. It's that same theme that we've been talking about for months and we hear about in the news every single day. And I read that uh, the uh, some of the estimates are that there were more people shopping online this year than actually going into stores. But the big volume of, of retail dollars is still with retail. I saw some of the big stores like uh, Best Buy, uh, JCPenney, even Macy's, uh, their sales were up uh, this year. Yeah, um, that is true. We still see the predominant portion of sales in stores, um, but we do see that the influence of online channels drives the overwhelming majority of total sales. So again, it's those same themes of omni-channel, multi-channel. If you're not providing the customer a way to figure out what's in the store through their mobile phone, through their desktop, through their tablet, they may not make it into store or they may go to someone who doesn't have a store. Um, yes, some of those traditional retailers have done well. I think you got a caveat for JCPenney. They had two years in which they were down 20 plus percent year over year over year. So for them to show traffic increases, sales increases year over year, it's a bit easier for them to do. Um, electronics in general sell very, very well early in the season. In November and early December, the apparel purchases typically, typically come a bit later in December or starting actually today through the last day before Christmas for in-store sales. So it's not surprising to necessarily see Best Buy and others do well. They've definitely fended off the Amazons of the world quite well recently. Um, and there were some other uh, teen retailers that you see a lot of that shift from the A&F, Abercrombie and Fitch's to some other of these startup brands uh, moving over as well. So I, I think, you know, Everyone's freaking out about retail sales being weaker than expectations 10 of the 12 months of the year. But you know what? The world is still working. We're still okay. And we're going to be up year over year. It's not as dire as everyone makes it out to be. And Ryan, when we got together in the summertime and talking about the upcoming uh, fall and holiday season, you said uh, how important it was for companies to have a placement on Amazon.com. And that really is something that held true. 36% of all online sales on, uh, on Cyber Friday were, uh, on Black Friday were on Amazon. Wow. You know, your st you know your stats well. I think the more alarming statistic to me is the fact that 49%, uh, and I posted about this recently, 49% of consumers that are shopping online, mostly, the term mostly, not always, check Amazon before their purchase. So again, that leads back to what you and I have talked about. If you're not on Amazon as a brand, whether you're small or you're large, you're losing a lot of eye share. A lot of people won't see your brand, won't understand that you are part of the Amazon ecosystem and what comes with that is easy payments, single sign-ons, credit cards. You know, they've got the best offering for anyone who's online today and they're gonna ship all the way up through 1224 Christmas Eve for those that celebrate that holiday. So they just can't be beat, and they're unstoppable. Late breaking news last night, they're now leasing 2767s. Uh, so they are getting into the UPS FedEx. They're taking it further up the supply chain. Uh, you know, can't stop, won't stop is, is kind of what I wrote when I tweeted it out. They, they are unstoppable right now, or at least for the foreseeable future. 
Right, and uh, we talked a little bit about electronics being a big category. I, I noted that uh, they said jewelry, appliance, and clothing, which is your, uh, which is your area now, uh, were doing very well. Uh, what is it about those items uh, and those categories that make them uh, really at the top of shoppers' list this year? Yeah, so what we've seen uh, the first eight, nine months of the year is the big ticket purchases played a major role. Home furniture goods, uh, autos. Autos, we are in a uh, record year historically. I think we've sold plus 18 million autos this year. It's going to be a new record. So there was a lot of big ticket purchases the first nine, ten months of the year. We've started to see that dip a bit lately in the last two sales reports. I don't know if it's a trend or not. Um, and, you know, the Fed's coming out with an increase in rates, so we'll see if that impacts any home equity lines and, and that spending. Um, I think largely for apparel, it has not been a cold Christmas. As we know, it has not been a cold holidays. Uh, you know, I like, I used to make fun of those that made fun of the weather, but this one's real. This time it's real. I mean, it's going to be 45 degrees here in New York City on Saturday. Completely sunny, you know, super Saturday, and the day up to Christmas Eve account for about 15% of retail sales for brick-and-mortar retailers. That's a huge, huge number. And if it's not cold out, hopefully they've got product on the floor that uh, can potentially replace those cold products. Um, you know, we are three-quarters of the way through December now. Stores, big box stores, typically start to pull the fall goods off the floor late January, uh, early February. So there's not a lot of time left to sell. Um, and I think the impact to that is the department stores are struggling. They're going to have a lot of product. That product will then feed the outlet stores like the TJ Maxx's, the, the Ross stores. And, uh, you know, they've been down on luck lately, but I think they're going to have a lot of inventory to sell in the future. Hey, you were mentioning about Amazon. Uh, I actually tested it. I bought, uh, I made a purchase on Saturday of Thanksgiving weekend, four little items, um, kind of electronics, gadgets, and one book. And I had that at my office on Monday morning before 12 noon. I was astounded at how fast I got that. It was a five-piece order from Amazon, fairly complicated, little items. And they got it uh, to me on Monday morning after Saturday. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. it's. I mean, it's incredible. They have close to 90 DCs in North America alone today. So obviously, their um, ability to place that inventory closer to the customer where that demand is, you know, across the river, uh, you know, they've got at least six DCs within uh, 25 square miles of where we are right now. Um, it's it's incredible. And they, they haven't stopped with a couple of days delivery. Prime Now is a new app that they're exploding throughout the U.S. where they're offering one-hour deliveries. The stat that I know that uh, is most intriguing to me is, is 91% of the United States of America is within one trucking day of in Amazon DC. So that breath is amazing. Um, I do have to make fun of you a bit because you bought an actual physical book. I knew you were going to bring that up. And, uh, I, you know, I bought, I have to say, the Be My Guest book by uh, Disney, which is a wonderful book on customer service. I'd already bought it on my Kindle. And I, I just because I was going to reference it for some, for a presentation that I wanted to have a hard copy. But okay, but, uh, but that's a great book. So I do buy, I do like to buy and give hard copy books. Yeah, I, I look. There, there are pros and cons to each, and believe it or not, I think, uh, you know, hard copy books and, and and paperbacks now, if you buy them used through places like Amazon and Barnes and Noble, they're probably a heck of a lot cheaper than than Kindle books. And if you like them, you like them. I agree with you. Speaking of Disney, an amazing time for them right now with Star Wars obviously coming out today, 12 a.m. today, and and that is driving significant sales for a number of retailers. It's the largest memorabilia license in the history of the world. So amazing that uh, all that stuff is, is hopefully now selling that the, that the movie's out. And I remember when the original Star Wars came out, uh, the, the movie back in, uh, I think it was in the late 70s, early 80s. So that's, that's neat. That is a, a big phenomenon, the merchandising behind the movie and the tie-ins. Now, for companies that are trying to stay in front of of customers uh, through Christmas, New Year's, and then all of the acti retail activity that will follow uh, Christmas Day. 
Uh, how, what are the best ways for uh, retailers and advertisers to stay in touch with customers? Is email the best way to do it, or do they want to try to be uh, on a, a customer's Facebook pages and other social media? Yeah, I think we've briefly touched on this before. I think, uh, I think we're uh, in a place right now where email, we may kill, meaning that we as retailers historically are used to 10% conversion rates and 25% click rates and 60% open rates. Those days are gone, and those days are gone for a couple of reasons. The first reason in my mind is, is we're sending way too much. I mean, aren't you sick of these emails by now? I'm getting two or two a day from some retailers, and uh, I think it's nice to have presents have like once a week, uh, but more than that is overkill. Yeah, yeah. So I think one, we're way too loud. The second thing is, is if you look at the top inboxes in the world, places like Yahoo and Google with Gmail and Outlook slash Hotmail, those those outlets are now moving any marketing emails into the promotions tab. So automatically they're filtering filtering them for you. And if they filter them for you, you're less likely to read them. And then they've also got the unsubscribe buttons, which is the number three reason. The number the, the ability to unsubscribe today, although it may not seem like they're listening, is a lot easier than it was in the in the past. So it's definitely not email in my in my mind. Um, I think the big players that are doing it effectively are using location, right? If you remember back to this little tool that we're all carrying, not all of us, but close to 80% of the world by 2020, we'll have a smartphone. Driving location, it, especially when there's a much higher purchase intent, uh, this this tool to drive location, throw you a coupon when you're in close proximity to a Macy's is highly, highly effective relative to email. When I read just uh, in India, one billion people will have their smartphones very soon or mobile phones. Now we have the holiday coming up, and then a lot of people are getting gift cards. And that's going to drive a lot of activity after the holidays. What's the best way for retailers to uh, track uh, uh, the usage of uh, gift cards from uh, from customers? Yeah, it, it's a fantastic point. Uh, gift cards continue to grow year over year over year. And we, if we start to look at our inventory levels pre and post Christmas, What's ended up happening is the sales cycle has extended well beyond Christmas because just as you get your gift card, you're likely to go spend it. I need to make sure as a retailer or a wholesale uh, brand runner that I have product in those stores because there is this big tail and then it pops right after Christmas when people start to go into stores. It's very interesting to me in that the UK, Canada, several other countries their biggest shopping day is Boxing Day versus ours is typically Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, and I think a lot of that spend or that uh, group of spend has moved away from pre-Christmas, the few weeks pre-Christmas to post-Christmas because it's so much gift card giving. Um, and it's also brought about marketplaces that can sell gift cards. Raise is a massive app that sells. Gift is a massive app that sells uh, gift cards. They actually just announced Delta Airlines gift cards and Nordstrom Airlines this week. They take Bitcoin um, and, of course, eBay. They sell a ton of gift cards. So it's a huge, huge used market as well. You mentioned Bitcoin. Just have to have you uh, just uh, mention how is that working? Uh, that's sort of a new phenomenon for a lot of people. Where do you see it being useful? So... I have been a big fan of Bitcoin for several years. In fact, in my previous role at Hudson's Bay Company, I wanted to make sure that we were the first retailer to take Bitcoin. I have, um, I think the results thus far have been underwhelming. I don't think we've seen enough adoption yet by merchants. I think if you look at the actual stats, though, the number of transactions that run on Bitcoin is definitely in a dramatic rise. The price is now back above, I think, 464 as of this morning, which is another one-year high. Um, I think use of the blockchain and the technology that drives Bitcoin will be used. I think, will it be used in a way in which we as consumers realize it? Probably not, and it won't be marketed as blockchain, but I think it will be used. And I think longer term, if you look at the players like the Western unions, the remittance, where you have people sharing money cross-currency, I think that's probably going to be the biggest use case we're going to see. Uh, as it continues to grow in usage. And Ryan M. Craver is the president and CEO of TrimFit. Now, you got to tell us a little bit about your company and some of the some of the nice items that you have and where people can find them. 
fantastic. Uh, thanks, thanks for the little plug. Uh, so I, I am part of a group called Lamore Group. We're based out of Montreal, and we've got a, a couple of different brands that we either own or license. TrimFit is one of the brands. The brand that we're in here now for is Hot Toddies. So it's sold in several retailers across the U.S., Kohl's, Bloomingdale's, and others. Uh, we've got a couple other brands named uh, Terramar is one. We do Joe Fresh. Uh, and we've also got New Balance. So for the majority of those brands, we're in the big box retailers and the e-tailers that you mentioned, like Amazon, um, Macy's, Costco, Canada, Costco, USA, et cetera. That's great. I want to mention Ryan M. Craver has a wonderful email uh, newsletter that he issues first thing every Monday, every Monday morning, the Tech Confused Retailer. We'll have uh, how you can get that on our, on our caption. And uh, just very informative uh, material that Ryan sends out every Monday morning, first thing. And uh, that's terrific. How long does that take you to put together? Uh, good question. You know, my, my uh, fiancé could probably tell you a bit better than I could. Um, but what I do is every Sunday night is I take everything that I've starred over the course of the week and I throw it in and I try and add a bit of commentary, but I want to make sure that there's not much commentary because I know that people just really want access to the information uh, in a digestible fashion as opposed to my opinion. So uh, probably, I don't know, two, three hours every Sunday night. Well, it's very well put together, very informative, some wonderful charts and, uh, and notes about what's happening in retail, both online and in, uh, in the store. So, uh, Ryan, uh, our best wishes to you and all and your family for uh, the holidays, and we'll look forward to catching up with you very soon and get a, do another wrap-up on how the holiday season went and what's happening. Look forward to seeing in 2016. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's do this uh, in a couple months' time, but thank you again for your time, and happy holidays to you as well. Thank you, and our uh, best wish to everyone uh, watching, and uh, uh, our best wishes uh, for the holidays and for uh, the start of the new year. For CBSI Services, today in New York City, in the heart of the retail shopping district, this is Ken Kratzer for CBSI Services.